we have trucks, they are coming. Okay. okay. How many people are with you? Uh, I think we should be around 20. Stay if uh, it's possible in the dust road. Yes. And, uh, we, we... The scenario of Trail 2 was about a large forest fire in the southeast of France with cascading effects. So not only did we have to manage the fire, but also some victims related to the fire and a chemical threat related to a chemical plant just near the fire. So what was very interesting is that we cut the trial scenario in short sequences and you could see that after some time, sequence after sequence, the players get more and more involved and this was also made possible by the support that we received from simulation and from our simulation center. And the capacity in water, it's about uh, 12,000 litres for okay. each group. In this exercise, we use several tools, uh, tools who are used by firefighter French, like Asphodel, but we mixed with tools from the driver project, like uh, crisis shoot, MDDA. So it's a common operation procedure, and we mixed uh, all these tools in uh, the common post, okay. and it's very useful. It's a practitioner-driven scenario building. We are starting from their trial context, so in which uh, context they are working, operating, from their gaps and needs that they are looking for. And then uh, um, we look at socio-technical solutions because whatever piece of technology you have, it also affects the way how practitioners work. It does not change only like from pen to a laptop, but you also have something like a different way of working. Uh, uh, helicopter will arrive uh, in uh, some minutes uh, near the camping. Well, the assessment around. We have developed a space a virtual also environment in which the solutions that normally don't communicate, so to speak, with each other can be connected through a common information space and a common simulation space and also enable us to uh, collect relevant data that can then be analysed. The testbed also consists of methods. Uh, we have been developing the so-called TGM the trial guidance methodology. The purpose of this methodology is to assess innovative solutions using a systematic approach, meaning that we are aiming to provide the right means and the right frame so that the trials can be carried out to assess the solutions in the right way. Second and third degree burns. Okay, we move the first six uh, Okay. Our highly experienced practitioners from all over Europe were there to observe how the players um, get to use the solution during the trial, writing down their observations and then analyze the information that they observed. Uh, I'm seeing uh, two canals. What to expect? Not only did we learn about the solutions and how to train the people in using the solutions, but we learned a lot also um, about how to observe and how to support the observers during a trial. The purpose of SMAP is to analyze the social media. You know that social media contains information that is relevant for the operation, but it also could be relevant for the communication. Like if it's a rumor going, starting and spreading, then they need to communicate on that. We developed Crisis Suite, and one of the things that we're doing is we're, we're managing information, so to say. So uh, in this trial, we have the logbooks on the various levels in the firefighting organization. And what they're doing is they're storing all the information as it is going on, and then they extract this information into situation reports, which are shared with the common operational picture so that everybody knows what is going on on the various levels inside the organization. With this trial, we can uh, improve uh, the software and we can see what is good, what is bad, what we must uh, improve uh, to, to have a, a better uh, software in the future.